Did you realize that there are actually three different iTERA care devices and each of them have a little bit different benefit to them and they're each just a little bit different. So I thought today I would come on and give you my review of all three of the devices. So hopefully you'll get some information that will help you make a decision as to what's going to be the best device for you. Hi, I'm Renee McLaughlin. I'm the Chief Wanding Officer. I'm actually also a certified health coach, trainer, and an independent price distributor. All right, let's get started. We're going to start with the wand that just about everybody starts with, which is called the Classic. I'm going to bring this right on up. The Classic is that red wand that you've probably seen if you've been doing a little bit of research. And it has been upgraded in December to what we call the 2.0. And it is a beautiful device. And if money is an object for you, then I want you to know that even though this is the least expensive or what we like to say most affordable, you'll still get a beautiful result. It is a beautiful device. So with this one, what you're going to see is you actually have three different settings on it. Now, when you look up here, what you're going to see is frequency. The frequency is going to be the same on all of them because it's giving you that same terahertz frequency. On this one, it says power is from 600 watts to 800 watts. And when you look at this, you're going to see some differences in the wattage. But I want you to understand that really does not matter because as these wands and the technology have been become more and more efficient, they are able to get, generate even more power, if you will, regardless of the wattage. The sound is about the same as well, and it's less than or equal to 65 decibels. So what you're going to see is it does sound like a hair dryer. There's no two ways about it. Now, with this one, as you can see, there are three speeds or three different settings on here. So the speed one is a low speed with a medium heat. Now, speed just means the amount of I, don't, I wish I had a better way to say it, but how much blow you're going to get out of there, how strongly, how about that, how strongly it blows out. So that one's a lower speed with a medium heat. The second is a high speed, so it's a lot. So you're going to hear it. It will be louder. And again, a medium heat and then a high speed and a high heat. Now, the original 1.0 Classic did have a, um, a higher heat, but with a lower heat setting. This new one is a little bit warmer. And I know for some people that's a challenge because a lot of us really like a lower heat. So what can you do to adjust? Well, A, you can take the wand as you're blowing it and bring it out further away from you. You can also do it over your clothes. So that's typically a question. Can we do it with clothes? Yes, the terahertz and the scalar energy will penetrate through clothes. And that might also help you um, mitigate a little bit some of the extra heat. Now, why is there heat with this? Because the Chinese researchers and scientists and doctors have determined that the heat is a big part of the therapy. So you want to try and make it as hot as possible, but without burning yourself or being too uncomfortable. OK, so that's kind of going to be very individual. I found that this ability to um, tolerate heat can be so individual to a person and also can be very individual to where on your body you might be blowing. I know for me, I have very cold feet, so I love the feeling of the heat. Other people are real sensitive to the heat on the feet. So just again, you're going to have to adjust. So that is the classic wand. Now, let's go to the next one. The next one is the premium wand, and that's the shorter gray one. And I'll put the two of them up here to compare, but it is smaller. It's more compact. It has a beautiful hand feel to it. And what you're going to see is same um, frequency. The power is 600 to 650 watts. So a lot of people were like, oh, so it's not as powerful. Well, this is the most recent generation of wand. And that just means that it has become more efficient. So it's been estimated that when you use the premium, 
it's going to be about 30% more powerful than the classic, meaning that the amount of terahertz and how deeply it penetrates is going to be more powerful for you. So you can do less length of a session and still get about the same amount of result as you would with the classic. Now, these aren't exact, so just kind of take this with a grain of salt, just knowing that it is a more powerful device. Um, I like the first setting on here. It is a little less loud. I will definitely tell you that from any of the settings on the classic. So if you're really sensitive to sound, this one has that lower setting. And this actually is my favorite wand. I use this all the time and I have all three of them. I definitely feel it more powerful than the classic. But again, if all you can afford is the classic, it's a beautiful device. I like this one and it is a little less um, loud. All right, it's $11.40 for a price. Now let's go to the last one that we have, which is the Pro device. And it's called Pro because it was really designed for people who are in a clinic, who are professionals, who are going to use it for a long time on a lot of different people. And it is powerful. Now you can see on here, same frequency. The wattage is 1200 to 1500. So it does a lot of energy and power. And the sound is about the same. Now the Pro, let me pull this one up for you. You can see it is a much heavier, bigger device. And it does have six different settings. So it has a low speed and a high speed. So you can pick that. And it has a lower heat and a higher heat. You can pick that. It actually has six settings. It also has a strictly cold shot where it is just cold air. And the reason that they put that on here is because it can be used by estheticians who like that cold shot in order to close pores if you're doing it specifically for skin. So this has the cold shot on it, but you can tell this is a very heavy, hefty, beautiful, beautiful device, very powerful. It's been estimated that it's about 50% more powerful than the classic. So again, if you're working on a lot of people, you can do a treatment much quicker than you can with the classic and keep it going. Now, the other thing too is the classic does have a shut off on it. So after, if you're using it consistently for about an hour, it's going to be a little different for each device and each treatment, but about an hour, it will shut down when it gets too hot just to protect its mechanism. And on the, um, on the premium and the classic, it does, or the pro does not have that. So this one's $3,800. So again, all three of them are beautiful devices. Um, you're going to get great results with all of them. Now, I know that um, there will be people that will say, well, if I'm using the classic for my 10-step protocol that takes about 20 minutes, if I do that with the premium, can I cut it back by 30%? You can. How exactly you're going to um, to put that together is going to be really challenging. So I just kind of when I do it and I go to do it, I might just do a minute on the hands and the feet, do the lymphatic points um, and just kind of feel into it. A lot of this is very intuitive. I know when we first start, so many of us really want that exact system and protocol because it's kind of like, well, it looks like a hair dryer. So what am I going to do with it? So that basic 10 step protocol is a great way to get started, to introduce the um, the different frequencies into the body, see how the body feels with it. And then from there, you can go with it. So that 10 step protocol is a beautiful way to get started, regardless of what device you have. And if you're starting to use, say, the premium or the pro to do the 10 step, and you just feel like maybe you've done it for about 10 minutes and you're done, then just stop with that. See how the body reacts. It's always better to start a little bit slowly, let the body adapt, see how your body is, and then gradually add time into it. And you can also use all three or any of them to wand your water. So we know that that's a huge part of the therapy. So I hope that this gives you just a little bit of starting point if you're looking at which device that you would like. And you can always come down and ask questions and give comments. And um, just know that even though this is my way of doing it and explaining it, you might hear other people saying different things like their particular device maybe gets hotter than somebody 
else's. So again, just take it all with a bit of grain of salt and, um, and try it and see what you think. Thanks so much. And you have a wonderful day.